start. Good morning, Reverend Father Tom Kanunkal SJ, Father Katie Thomas SJ, Brother Ituk SJ, Brother John SJ, Rector Father Jose Philip SJ, Principal Reverend Dr. TJ Jose SJ, Vice Principal Mrs. Shobha Miranda, Coordinator of Academics Mr. AK Das, Coordinator of Activities Mrs. KC Maya, Headmaster Father Brito SJ, Assistant Headmistress Mrs. Mona Ray, Director of Prep School Sister Kiran Beck, Assistant Director of Prep School Mrs. Rajshree Vedi, Mrs. Susie Devasya, former staff, dear parents and fellow Zavarians. There is a universal truth that we all have to face, whether we want to or not. Everything eventually comes to an end. As much as we've all looked forward to this day, I personally don't like endings. The last day of summer, the final chapter of a great book and parting ways with a close friend. But endings are inevitable. Leaves fall, you close the book, you say goodbye. Today is one of those days for us. Today, we say goodbye to everything that was familiar and everything that was comfortable. There are going to be tears of joy and sorrow as we remember the golden years of our 20s at Xavier's. Now, let us commence the program with a prayer in our hearts and a song by a school choir. me now under your wings cover me within your mighty hands when the oceans rise and the this road, I will soar with you above the storm. Father, you are king over the flood. I will be still and know you are gone. Find rest, my soul. In Christ alone, know His power. In quietness and trust, when the oceans rise and thunders roar, I will so with you. to invite our principal, Reverend Dr. T.J. Jose S.J. to address the gathering. Good morning and a warm welcome to all the Jesuit fathers, brothers, sisters, parents, teachers, and my dear graduating children. You are a very special batch of students for all of us. 
we fondly remember you as a talented, brilliant, and a resilient bunch of Zaverians who did not let the depressing and harsh realities of life affect you. We have been through so much anguish. Our beloved Devasya sir was suddenly taken away from us. A huge personal loss, I'm sure, for many of us. You also may have witnessed loss of close family members and uh, loved ones. You all have been personally affected by the uncertainties about the board results and the board exams, a lot of anxiety, uncertainty, insecurity that you have gone through. But we know you will face all these hurdles with courage and confidence. Dear children, as you step into the world outside, we pray that you may hold fast to the Jesuit values you have imbibed here over the last 13 years. Your education here has made each one of you a versatile personality, brilliant, talented, confident, and humane. And our prayer is that you remain that way. Recently, I came across a post which uh, actually touched me. I wanted to share that with you, something very, very useful I felt. It is about two characters, Shweta. It said Shweta covered a distance of 10 kilometers in one hour. And uh, Akash, on the other hand, covered the same distance in one and a half hours. Now the question is, which of the two is faster and healthier? Of course, our answer will be Shweta. What if we say that Shweta covered this distance on a prepared track while Akash did it by walking on a sandy path? Then our answer will be Akash. But when we come to know that Shweta is 50 years old while Akash is 25 years old, then our answer will be Shweta again. But we also come to know that Akash's weight is 140 kg while Shweta's weight is 65 kg. Again, our answer then goes back to Akash. So as we learn more about Akash and Shweta, our opinions, our judgments about who is better will change. The reality of life is also similar. We form opinions very superficially and hastily, due to which we are not able to do justice to ourselves and to others. We forget opportunities vary, life is different, resources differ, problems change, solutions are different. Therefore, my dear children, the excellence of life is not in comparing with others, but with the self and improving every day. You are the best in your own way. Be happy with what you are, but keep trying your best for betterment according to your circumstances, your abilities. Be cool, keep smiling, stay blessed. We wish you all the very best in your future life. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Your words of inspiration are precious for all of us. The times have been truly challenging for all of us this year. It has not only shocked us, but has saddened us as we have lost so many near and dear ones. Some of them were our school's stalwarts, our Vice Principal, Mr. Keja Devasya, sir, our former Principal and former Rector, Father P.T. Augustine, and our dear Ravi uncle. Would always be remembered for their unparalleled dedication and service to school and society. With a heavy heart, we pay our sincerest tribute to the departed souls. I request Gretel Maria of Class 12th A to pay homage. Good morning, everyone. For many of us, May 2nd, 2021, 
perhaps marks the darkest days in these already dark times. Our beloved Vice Principal, Deva Sir, took his last breath on May 2nd, leaving countless students, teachers and staff members to remember him in their memories while he journeys to a heavenly abode. But Mr. Deva Sir wasn't just a Vice Principal, he was a mentor, a counsellor, a beacon and the centerpiece who held the Xavier's family together. Sir joined Xavier's in 1991. He went on to hold various positions, handling each post very competently. He was the head of the English department, the coordinator of activities and discipline, and the vice principal since 2015. Sir has over the years come across as a very approachable and amiable person. He was a perfect blend of strictness and friendliness, and that's what makes him so endearing. Mr. Devasya had a way with words. Not once did he scold us, but he always spoke to us with words that made us realize what wrong we had done. Even looking out to an auditorium full of faces, it felt like he was speaking to us individually. The school is fortunate to have had someone so sincere and committed like him. I do not know when this pandemic will end, nor do I know how many more lives we must lose. But I know it's merciless and unforgiving. And so I hold my loved ones a little closer to my heart. And I hold my dearest sir the closest. Xavier's lost another family member in the month of October. Our dearest Ravi uncle, a familiar face in a school canteen, passed away on 30th October 2020. He was a kind-hearted person who served numerous generations of Xavierians with care and affection. There were days when we used to forget money, but he would be standing there with a warm smile, serving us Chinese samosas and bread rolls. His kind-hearted attitude would have surely impacted the lives of so many Zaverians. The school being our second home, we regard him as a parental figure who left no stones unturned in making sure that we are provided with healthy, hygienic and tasty food. We pay our sincere tribute, remember, and pray for the repose of his noble soul. Xavier's lost another stalwart in the month of April. A former principal and rector, Father Augustine, left for his heavenly abode on 24th April. Many of us do not know Father personally, but his efforts have impacted the lives of so many generations of Xavier. During Father's tenure, the magnificent Millennium Complex was constructed. Numerous Xavierians have groomed their personalities and blossomed into confident youngsters in this very hall. Father worked relentlessly, ensuring that the infrastructure of the school supported all-round development of every child. We all owe him a great debt of gratitude. As we step into this new phase of our lives, we pray for the blessings of our dear Deva Syasa and Father Augustine. Thank you. Thank you, Gretel. I think it is safe to say that the people who have been hardest hit are the juniors of class 11th. I would like to invite Avni Sham to say a few words about our seniors. Avni, try not to tear us up, okay? Every beautiful thing comes to an end, and perhaps the end makes it all worth. While your journey with Xavier's is ending through the year that has been, I just want to say, I'm so glad to see you all healthy and happy. This is not the farewell any of us imagined. At the time of celebrating all the knowledge you gained, we are grieving on what we have lost. The people whose presence were a regular in our lives, the opportunities we were planning for, the experiences we were looking forward to. You might feel lost and upset right now, but you all will make this world a better place in your own way. And everything will count. We are hopeful and we value hope more than anything ever. The last year of school is to create memories, but it all went by in Zoom classes. But it is to be understood that it's not about wearing suits and saris and taking pictures with your friends and family in front of the school. It's about wrapping one chapter of your life and unwrapping another. And on that note, I'd like to reflect not only onto the last year, but the whole 12 years of your journey 
as a school student. It is mesmerizing to see how far you all have come, individually and in togetherness, how you were put together by mere coincidence and now are leaving as a family, how you came in with your Barbie and Spider-Man bags in tiny school uniforms, stuttering between ma'am and mama, and now are leaving with a bigger than life will and ready for the world. And the people who helped you, guided you, always wished the best for you and made this journey a beautiful, comfortable and memorable one. The teachers, educators, the workers who worked in the background, the staff, and of course, your parents and guardians. In the end, it sums up as immense pride, gratitude, knowledge, character, and of course, memories. It is true as it is coming from someone who will be filling your shoes in a year from now. You will always be identified with this prestigious institution and the school will identify each of you with the numerous variants of excellence she has dedicated to the mankind over the six magnificent decades of our existence. Thank you. Thank you, Avni, for successfully ignoring our request. I'm sure everyone here is quite moved. Music might help us to move on from that riveting speech. Let's all enjoy an instrumental by the students of class 12. I invite Ishanja, Roshan Raju and Pat Sharma.
Thank you for the melodious performance. Now it is time to request one of the many sculptors who have chiseled us, mentors who have held our hands and guided us. We invite Mrs. Casey Maya to address us all. Good afternoon, Reverend Fathers, teachers, parents, and the batch of 2020. I wish to extend my warm welcome to all on this momentous occasion. The lockdown gave me an opportunity to watch one of my childhood favorites, Malgudi Days, based on the works of R.K. Narayan, which chronicles the lives of people living in the fictitious town of Malgudi. How I wish I could exchange places with Swami, the main protagonist of Malgudi Days. It felt like childhood revisited. It made me go green with envy as I relived the carefree days of my childhood. Sukoon ki baat mat kar ay galib, bachpan wala itwar ab nahi aayega. That's the thought that filled my mind as I devoured episodes after episodes of the series. But such is the irony of life. All things beautiful have to come to an end. Struggles are an inevitable part of life. The past one year and a half has been undoubtedly a tremendous one for the entire human race and the war is not over yet. Even as I say this, I am acutely aware of the trauma that some of us are living with. But believe me when I say that you are not alone in this. And so the fight against it is also a collective one. I am sure together we can definitely overcome the physical, mental and the emotional struggles that this pandemic continues to inflict upon us. So reach out. Let's not drown ourselves in the survivor's guilt, but instead reach out and pull out as many of our brethren as possible. Dear students of this special batch of 2020-21, special for reasons more than one. Do not lament on the fact that you had to spend the most important year of your school life within the four walls of your home without having sat in your classrooms even once. Instead, celebrate. Celebrate your 12 to 13 years journey called schooling. Your period of metamorphosis, which has molded you into the beautiful human being that you are today. Why bother about the end when you can cherish the means? Hold those memories close to your heart. Let these lessons, the Zaverian values, become the springboards that will catapult you to the heights of success. Cherish each little speech that you made during class assemblies, each little role you played during play fests, each little race you ran on the beautiful grounds of our school, let all that reflect in the unique personality that is you. It is not how much you know, but what you do with what you know that matters. You are much more than a test score or letter grade. As a matter of fact, you aren't those things at all. Discover your own calling and purpose in life. And in the process, remember, your only competition is the person you were yesterday. There is something for everyone in this world. You need to find that something you were born to do. To conclude, I would like to quote Martin Luther King Jr. If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I now invite Ishan Jha and Punya Agarwal, the head boy and the head girl of this prestigious institution, who have served as great leaders and a source of inspiration for all of us. Thank you, Nandini. Respected Reverend Father Tom Kununkal SJ, 
Father Gaty Thomas S.J., Brother Etub S.J., Brother John S.J., Rector Father Joseph Philip S.J., Principal Reverend Dr. T.J. Jos S.J., Vice Principal Mrs. Shobha Miranda, Coordinator of Acad Academics Mr. A.K. Das, Coordinator of Activities Mrs. K.C. Maya, Headmaster Father Brito S.J., Assistant Headmistress Mrs. Monare, Director of Prep School Sister Kiran Beck, Assistant Director Mrs. Rajshri Vedi, Mrs. Susi Devasia, former staff, dear parents, and my fellow civilians. A very good morning to all of you. Today, this is how I used to be when I came to the school in class sixth. And uh, I am not at all exaggerating. You can ask Mona Re, ma'am. She was my class teacher. She knows it. And I'm sure many of us were somewhat similar when we landed in the school. I remember there was an ASL activity conducted in class sixth by Mona Re, ma'am. In which I was, in which we were supposed to deliver speeches by famous personalities, like a speech of Mahatma Gandhi. So I think it was not clear to me. I did a speech on Mahatma Gandhi, speaking about him, that too from Wikipedia, and saying these type of lines, referring to the image 5.1, which made no sense. Still, I passed, and I know most of us have such similar silly experiences. Good old days. So once again, a very warm good morning to all of you. Addressing you all for the last time while still a student of the school is quite difficult because I may be expected to cover many aspects of our student life in one single speech, which is hardly feasible. And more important, it is an emotional moment when you say goodbye to a school which has owned you and nurtured you so passionately. There could be students who may have many more good memories of the school than me since I joined the school only in class six. But seven years of growing up in the ambience of St. Zeevitz is a big opportunity in itself. It has helped me build a much better personality, providing me with an enabling environment to polish my skills in theater and music, pushing me to explore new genres and teaching me how to carve out a balance between core academics and extracurriculars. I'm sure all of us have developed one or the one or more qualities and have honed our skills under the constant support and guidance of our beloved teachers who kept on motivating and helping us at all eventful turns in our lives. The range of intra and inter school events that the school provides is simply huge. It gives us a fair chance to get the taste of healthy competition among ourselves and also among students from different schools. I'm very sure that these learnings will provide us an edge over others when we'll work in the outside world. I would like to thank all our esteemed teachers. Leaving this prestigious institution with your blessings will give us immense confidence, empower us and prepare us better for our forward journey. Among all our well wishers present here, there's one leading light who is not physically present, but shall always be present in our souls and would continue to bless us. He's the person who guided us throughout our school lives, our vice principal, so KJ Devasya. I remember we were on the bus during Jaipur school trip in December 2019, where I and Devasya were having a great political debate in which I was struggling to prove my points right. And he, on the other side, was constantly supporting me. At the end, he said, we will continue this debate later. Jaipur trip was our last outstation school trip and unfortunately, my last debate with Devasya sir. The experiences so fondly shared by the teachers in classrooms will definitely remain with us forever. Also sort of micro guidance which teachers provided us to make sure we score good in our exams. Trust me, we will never ever get that experience again in our lives. Getting chased by PT teachers while bunking classes, eating different in the third period, reserving seat for our best friend, refilling water bottles of the whole class in summer, roaming in the corridors in between the periods, forgetting to wear house t-shirts on Wednesdays, getting scolded by Bharti auntie for going towards Millennium Hall side, going to Jashanka sir to ask if the teacher is present or not, using lift with false excuses, having Chinese samosa and choco maza. We will miss all these. Now, when we, when we embark on an entirely new journey and get out of the comfort of the school, we should always remember every new beginning comes from another beginning's end. By respecting all the lessons and learnings from the school, we should be able to make a better future. With this, I, Ishan Chha, sign off. Thank you all. Have a nice day. Estovish.
and then one fine day you will find 13 years have got behind you no one told you when to run and you missed the starting gun good morning reverend father tom kunankul st father kt thomas st brother etub st brother john st rector father jose philip st principal reverend dr tj jose st vice principal mrs shobha miranda coordinator of academics mr ak das coordinator of activities mrs kc maya headmaster father brito st assistant headmistress mrs monare director of prep school kiran beck assistant director of prep school mrs rajshree vedi former staff dear parents and fellow zavedians today when i am asked to give a message as the head girl for the session 2020 21 all the memories of the past 13 years at zavedians etch in my mind are suddenly pouring out and nostalgia is hitting me like the tsunami waves hit the coast and i feel as if all these memories some dim some elusive some as clear as crystal they tell me something they tell me that school life is so much more than just grades uniform and assignments i vividly remember my conversation over phone with our late vice principal so mr kj devasya on the day i was elected as the head girl and i still can't believe i can't believe that he's no more truly a legend he was his dedication towards his work was impeccable the other day when i was attending sir's prayer meeting i could feel the pain in his daughter's voice when she said that sir valued xavier so much that it sometimes hampered his personal life he was a legend he will always be missed may your soul rest in peace sir coming to the school school is not just a building or a place to visit for few hours for fun and enjoyment instead it is a factory where perfection is created with great zeal and zest st xavier's is surely playing a very positive role in it it's been a great pleasure for me to study here and be a part of it and it is so difficult for me to sum up what a roller coaster ride it has been at xavier's undoubtedly we are a family to try and talk about the things we have been through together done and achieved together is a tough task today is an ending but we should remind ourselves that endings don't have to be sad there may be tears laughter and a whole range of emotions but not because we are heartbroken but because we are reflecting on our time at xavier's with fondness every day we used to walk to the school gates uh, that is before covid 19 came in with the feeling that we are being cared for with the presence of a huge sense of community now when we are leaving school every day for a long time something will be missing in our lives 13 years have gone by and trust me i still love this school as much as i did it on my first day in class prep from learning numbers and alphabets at prep department to learning algebra at junior school and now graduating as confident seniors from senior school Xavier's has been a second home all throughout these years. Our batch, batch of 2021, is unforgettable and supremely talented. Singers, dancers, actors, and what not, you name it and the batch of 2021 has it. We participated as a team and won together. Music fest, play fest, elocutions, the excitement of all the moments we have shared is just priceless. We have learned the thrill of victory. As we walk out of the school the millennium hall will bear the story of the most precious moments of our lives our hearts filled with the best memories we could ever make the feeling of having such wonderful people around is wonderful but the pain of moving away is even greater i'm sure that just like me even you guys are filled with mixed emotions we feel elated yet dejected As we are to enter into a new phase of our life we are not afraid to make mistakes to stumble and fall may we all get what we wish for what we truly deserve may we get more than we could have ever imagined who knows where life will take us the road is long and in the end journey is the destination as i conclude i would like to thank each and every dear teacher and friend of mine to speak to you guys for the last time all together is a memory i'll cherish forever my heart is singing the song of joy 
I'm very grateful to all the teachers and staff members of Saviors. Wishing all my batchmates all the very best for their wonderful lives ahead. Remember, once is a variant, always is a variant. Esto Veer. Thank you. Thank you, Ishan and Punya. Xavier's is a treasure trove of talent. And here, our teachers are highly talented. Every year, the graduating batch of 12th graders has had the privilege of a large group of teachers presenting a musical rendition for them. This year, the pandemic has robbed us of that privilege too. But our teachers at Xavier's have done their best to ensure that we do not miss out on these special moments. So we have before us a small yet incredibly talented group of teachers. To enthrall us with his baritonal finesse, we have Das Sir. And with an absolutely melodious and mesmerizing voice, we have Maya Ma'am. Subin Sir with his magical fingers on the keyboard, Elvis Sir with his captivating music on the electric guitar, and our very own amazingly talented principal on the guitar. So sit back and enjoy this presentation. <laughs> Oh, feel me, I feel me. 
graduate as proud Zavarians. We now invite Mrs. Tripta Mehra, parent of Arpita Mehra, to speak on behalf of all. Reverend fathers, respected teachers, and my dear children of past 2021, a very good afternoon to all of you. It's a great honor and a wonderful opportunity for me to deliver this favor speech as a parent in this esteemed institution. To start with, I would like to read a quotation from James E. Faust. I quote, a grateful heart is a beginning of greatness. It is an expression of humility. It's a foundation for the development of such virtues, a prayer, faith, contentment, happiness, love, and well-being, unquote. My journey as a parent in St. Xavier started 18 years ago. Yes, you heard it right, 18 years. Year 2003, when my daughter Arpita was born, and the same year, my son Tanmay Mera joined this school. These 18 years have given me so much to feel happy, to feel proud, and above all, to feel grateful to everybody associated with the growth and development of my children. How can I forget the days when I used to come here to drop my daughter in the prep department and she used to run after me with tears rolling down her cheeks and Mrs. Neelam Rakyani trying to distract her with all different tactics. Thank you for being so patient and kind to my child, ma'am. Though I must have mentioned it to you earlier, Dinesh sir, but once again, I would like to thank you. The amount of time you spend with Arpita in the prep lawn just to make her feel comfortable and adjusted is really commendable. 
This is how the journey of my daughter started at St. Xavier's Star Seva Smart. And now when I ask her to get along, she's not ready to leave the campus. I'm sure all the parents who are a part of this program today must be having almost the same feeling. Our tiny tots who were once so scared to come to the school have now become such talented, vibrant young ladies and gentlemen. This transformation has taken 13 long years and we as parents have to admit to the fact that each and every teacher has contributed to his her full capacity for the personality development of our children. The Jesuits have always focused on all round development of our kids. Our children have developed not only physically, intellectually, but there has been a social and spiritual transformation. They are all aware of their responsibility along with their rights. Each and every Zavarian has now learned how to live life, not just how to make a living. Jesuits stress a lot on co-curricular activities. As a result, our children have become so confident and self-reliant over the years. Not only that, they are compassionate and empathetic towards each other. I can say all this because my husband too is an ex -Zavarian. Xavier's is not just a school. It's a culture which runs into our families. On this note, I, Tripta Mehra, on behalf of all the parents of class 12 students, take this opportunity to thank all the Jesuit fathers, teachers of prep department, junior school, senior school, and not to forget all our co-workers. I little feel short of words to express my gratitude on this occasion. Not just the staff members, I would also like to thank all the fellow Zavarians of Arpita for being there with full support and their unconditional love. I would like to wish each and every student of Batch 2021 the best of everything in their future life ahead. Set your goals high and always dream big because you are only as big as the dreams you dare to live. Happy farewell. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, ma'am. Now let's walk down the memory lane through a video presentation which will undoubtedly leave some of us teary-eyed and at the same time with smiles. I'm sure everybody present here would enjoy this presentation. I sit by myself talking to the Caught in 
some memories are definitely unforgettable, remaining ever vivid and heartwarming. Now, it is time for a blessing address by our rector, Reverend Father Joseph Philip, who has always shown us the right path. We would now like to call Father to address the 12th graders and their parents. Dear class of 2021, your class creates history as you pass out of the portals of this institution. The class that did not attend a single day of your last year in school. This past year has been a difficult one for all of us. We have been through some of the worst, but yet we have experienced some of the best. This pandemic that is still around has made us to look at reality with new eyes. It is continuing to nudge us to find new meanings and new hopes for the future. This year is also very special for the Jesuits and by virtue of your having spent past few years in this Jesuit school, you are all connected to the millions of students all over the world who share the same Jesuit legacy. We keep this year as the Ignatian year, celebrating the big change in the life of Ignatius 500 years ago when a cannonball shattered his legs and with his legs his dreams of becoming famous and achieving glory was also shattered. But what made the difference is he did not let it break his spirit. He began looking at God, the others and the world with new eyes and that began and that was a new beginning and that is what made all the difference. This pandemic which seems to be affecting our life, shattering some of our dreams and aspiration is an invitation to renew our focus and look at life in a new way, with a new vision. I wish you all the very best as you navigate through these difficult times. And I would like to end with a poem from Dinkar Sonvalkar. Uplabdi ka ek hi hai nikash kitno ke saath khud ko kho sakte ho madhyam kai hai abhivakti ke prem ke bij sabhi bhoomiyo par pulte hai. शब्द स्पर्श रस रूप गंध कोई द्वार बंद नहीं है उनके लिए दूर दूर तक दिल की गहराइयों में फैलाओ जीजी विषा के अंगूर जीजी विषा यानी जीने की तीव्र इच्छा फैलाओ जीजी विषा के अंकुर अश्वस्त रहो आनंद की फसलें तुम्हारी प्रतीक्षा में है गॉड ब्लेस यू Wish you all the best for your future. Thank you, Father, for your inspirational words. We now have some super talented musicians to enthrall all of you with a musical rendition. When I was six years old, I broke my leg. I was running from my brother and his friends. I tasted the sweet perfume of mountain grass. I roamed down. I was younger then. Take me back to when I. 
Found my heart and broke it here Made friends and lost them through the years And I'm not seeing the roaring field In so long I know I've grown I can't wait to go home One had two kids, but lived alone One's brother overdosed One's already on his second wife One's just barely getting by These people raised me and I Can't wait to go home I'm on my way I still remember these country lanes when we did not know the answer and I miss the way you make me feel and it's real when we watch the sunset over the castle on the hill over the castle on the hill The hill. That was truly a splendid performance. Even though our school taught us everything that is necessary to live our lives in utmost quality, one thing that it never taught us is to say goodbyes to our friends. And I'm sure our seniors are thinking exactly the same. And I'll be honest, no one knows the answer till date. That feeling of a heavy heart, that confusion, that persisting sadness, it doesn't have a cure. All we can do at this point is to put on a smile, look up at each other and say our goodbyes. Let's all hope that everyone present here reaches their destiny in life and be happy with the thought that I was part of someone's journey and that I was able to push someone towards their success. Let's remember all of the moments that made us happy, sad and alive at school and take that with us further in life. This indeed is one of those occasions where we feel the vacuum our dear Devasya sir has left behind. We believe those who are dear to us never leave our side. We believe the prayers, well wishes and blessings of our dear Devasya sir are with us today and all the days of our lives. Those we love don't go away. They walk beside us every day, unseen, unheard, but always near still loved, still missed, and very dear. For death cannot kill what never dies. 
the love, care, affinity are those that death can never touch. With this, I, Nandini Gautam, and I, Albin Antony, would like to conclude this program and all of us at Xavier's wish every single one of you the best of luck. And with a heavy heart, we say goodbye. And now, for the very last time, let's sing our school song together. <laughs>